It is Wednesday afternoon and I finally got that door locked. I am super excited about that. But anyway, I wanted to let you know that it is almost 60 degrees again today here. Uh, one day after Christmas, I am super, super excited about it. And I am headed out to do a little bit of shopping since I got a little bit of um, money for Hanukkah. I already know what I got myself or what I what I want to get myself and I uh, do not want to spoil the surprise so here I go hello world I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series so far, I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum, or rather have Asperger's Syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. Amazon Echo Dot. Um, and I am at Lennox Square Mall today, which is a shopping mall in Atlanta. It's very nice. It's absolutely one of my favorites, but it gets too crowded at this time of the year. But I like to shop here because uh, it's really pretty at Christmas time. I mean, I don't do this all the time. I usually do this tradition the day after Christmas. So anyway, I wanted to let you know it's 24 hours later. Yesterday I was headed out. At the weather was beautiful and balmy, almost 60 degrees. I was headed out to um, do a yeah, little bit of me time and I was on my way to go uh, shopping at the Atlantic Station and get some footage over there of uh, the beautiful Atlanta skyline and do some time lapses of uh, the skating rink because that's just really fun to watch people skating in really, really supersonic, super fast mode. However, when I got to the train station, I received a phone call around uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on uh, December 26, 2018. And it turned out that a family member of mine who took me in, I lived with her for six years of my life, from the time I was 21 years old to the time I was 28. And uh, we bonded for a while and we did a lot together. She taught me a lot of good things. Uh, she was a good person, but unfortunately, we ended up uh, on bad terms because uh, she just wanted to look at my disability, and she just she had a tendency to focus on that. And the other problem was she wanted to uh, she wanted me to be her little girl forever, and she wanted me to be the same 21 year old that I was where I acted like I was 14 years old with no social skills. And she just basically wanted to run the show and I just kept growing up and moving on with my life and that bothered her. So we fell out last year after uh, Hurricane Irma blew through. I mean, I'll talk about that in my next video, but uh, at the moment I had this phone call from uh, one of her neighbors who I also used to know. He's a super nice person and when I was uh, when I was over at the station, he explained to me that uh, the police and her friends were trying to get into her house because they hadn't heard from her th for three days, and they said her car was in the garage, and they said that her um, that she wasn't picking up the phone. They tried everything, and so. Uh, the last I checked, uh, or that was the last time I checked and I just hung up and then I went to the bank and I was going to go do shopping, but 
I couldn't, my whole day had been ruined. I was worried whether or not my aunt had passed away suddenly. So I called some friends of mine, uh, jumping to conclusions, thinking that she was dead because uh, it was that scary. And, and then I called back maybe a half hour, hour and a half later, actually half hour, and they finally got to her. She wasn't dead, no. It turns out that uh, they found her in really poor health conditions. She had, uh, she looked like she had had a stroke and her eyes were rolling into her head and they found her, she was really septic. She didn't remember anybody, she couldn't talk. And so I figured she had to have a stroke. So I uh, called up my friend and I went back to go spend time with her and her son who um, is also on the spectrum. I've known them for years. And so they decided to spend the day with me or spend the afternoon and uh, I was in such distraught. I couldn't even enjoy myself. And uh, I was in tears last night. And then I got home, I was fine for a while last night. And then around nine o'clock this morning, it hit me again, and um, I have been crying ever since. And I've been crying about all the good memories we had because I realized that I don't realize what I have until it's gone. And the truth is, I do love my aunt. She didn't think I loved her, but the truth is, I love her very much. And it's very sad to see this because we spent a lot of time together. It's sad to see that I would hear her um, come and surprise me like one time five years ago five Christmases ago which was uh, a very another very devastating year for me but that's a whole nother story um, when she was still in a sound mind she came and knocked at the door and she had all these presents and she said Merry Christmas and I gave her a hug and we hadn't seen each other in a while and she had all these wonderful presents that she got from me from Hilton Head uh, South Carolina so you just you don't know what you have until it's gone even if you don't get along with somebody it's still gonna bite you and this one is really biting me so uh, I stopped at this target in the Lenox area but it was already out I found one in my budget that I can afford that's on sale however um, the lady that I spoke to today said that they're three in stock at the uh, Target at Atlantic Station and I was going to go there anyway and pick it up but had I uh, waited until today I wouldn't have gotten that totally awesome Amazon Echo Dot so anyway I just wanted to let you guys know I'm hanging in there and I'm gonna go uh, get on this train as soon as possible so that I can get this coffee maker because uh, I'm an adult and I'm getting to a point in my life where I like to drink coffee and I've been drinking it since I started working at GSU. yesterday I am finally eating at the restaurant that I wanted to be at which is which which I was gonna go come here yesterday and shoot some footage but anyway I wanted to let you know I had a chance to peek on Facebook at what's going on it looks like my aunt is in a pretty serious condition it's very grim she's on a ventilator and I don't want to what turn on the waterworks because I'm trying to make myself feel better but I know it's okay to cry. However, um, I wanted to share another memory with you guys. And this was when I was four years old. So back in the 80s, I was fascinated with bubble lights. And my parents and I, or my mother and I, it was just us. We uh, went to a cousin's house of mine and I happened to see my aunt uh, the back of her head. And I snuck up behind her and I just focused on those bubble lights and she just turned around and then she saw me and said, oh hi Maya. And I said, I'm looking at these bubble lights and she says, yeah, these are pretty. See the bubbles? See the bubbles? And so I will always have those memories with her. 
I don't want to talk about it too much. It's just really sad. <laughs> we fell out last year. I didn't expect this to happen. of picking up a coffee creamer. Um, I was gonna get an umbrella, but they were too expensive. So I don't know what flavor to get, uh, even though I've got uh, hazelnut. <laughs> I guess I could go for Natural Blitz. dogs out here and I just couldn't afford to buy an umbrella tonight I mean I could but I didn't feel like paying $12 for something like that I had the option of the rain poncho and I thought nah I can manage so anyway I wanted to let you guys know that I am headed off now uh, I decided on hazelnut to flavored coffee and I decided not to get the peppermint I didn't think that would be a good combination. I decided uh, hazelnut coffee and pe uh, salted caramel creamer. So nuts and caramel, you can't go wrong with that, right? So anyway, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and also be sure to check me out on social media. Until uh, next time, I'm Maya Sundermite and I'm signing off. Bye. I got coffee. I got a coffee maker.